matter with being the fool, the nerd everyone laughs at, the dupe of every joke. I've had it with people who think they can run all over me. Just get a grip on yourself. She laughed at me, Dalton. She's just like the rest of them. Shh. She didn't have anything to do with it. But she laughed at me. She laughed, Dalton. Look, you're just blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Just because Mike and those jerks think you're a nerd doesn't mean you are one. I've been pushed right over the edge. They want to play ball with Bertram? Well, they're going to see how well I can play. Nobody makes a fool out of Bertram Cummings. <laughs> I'm not dreaming and I'm not trying to pull a gag. It really happened. Maybe it was some kind of interference. Interference doesn't talk to you, dummy. Well, how about another TV show? Another TV show doesn't have a bald green guy look at you and say your name. Bald green guy, huh? Must have been an educational show. I'm telling you. Hey, stop hitting me. I'm telling you, some kind of alien is trying to get in contact with us. So why'd he pick you? Listen. If you were an alien, wouldn't you want to contact the coolest kid in ninth grade? That's what the alien looked like. Oh, let me think. Wasn't that music teacher we stopped in sixth grade? How's the experiment coming along, Bertram? Uh, fine, sir. Just fine. I hope you'll be ready to share your project real soon. I'm quite looking forward to it. Oh, you won't be disappointed, sir. <laughs> So this is revenge, huh? This is it. Here's Chuck, and Dennis, and Louise, and of course, Mike. I don't get it. What are you gonna do? Interrupt their favorite TV shows? You might say so. Dalton, do me a favor and hand me that alien head over there, will you? All right. Alien head. Michael Godey. Oh, wow. Whoa. I am contacting Charles Benson. It's my turn now. Oh. I am contacting Dennis Quilchinson. Just give me five more minutes, Mom. How much time does he have? Very little, I'm afraid. You want me to come? I am contacting Louise Baker. Louise, television for you. Pete, I am contacting Louise, Dennis, Charles, and Michael. I am not on the deck now from the Andromeda Galaxy. I am answering to Earth. I require your obedience and assistance in telling the people of your planet of my arrival. In order so that there will be as little panic as possible, we would like to begin by telling the young people of your world of our arrival. We come in peace. We require your assistance. We will contact you tomorrow about the details. Greetings from Zekna. Mom? Mom, there's an alien on TV. Louise, why don't you see if one of those children's playhouse shows is on? Well? Well, Mikey is pretty dumb. But do you think he's that dumb? Hook, line, and sinker, Dalton. And Louise? 
She'll go for it. And then what? And then they'll be very sorry they ever laughed at Bertram Cummings. Dennis. No, Louise. 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 Well, what do you think? Are you guys playing a trick on me? Are you kidding? This is the real thing. You, me, Chuck, Dennis, we've been picked to greet the alien. You really think there was an alien? Don't you want to be famous, Louise? We'll make history. History? The concept of genetics was based upon breeding experiments involving organisms that differed in one or more different traits. Mr. Barnes? Yes, Mike? Uh, I know this is a little bit off the subject, but... Uh... Go ahead, Mike. Well, that maybe I was wrong a while back in thinking that I saw a UFO. But I still believe there's life in other planets. Well, that's swell, Mike. And not only do I believe it, I'm gonna have proof soon. Solid, undisputable scientific proof. Proof that there are really aliens? You bet. How? Your relatives coming for a visit? <laughs> to learn to keep quiet, Mike. We don't want anyone oh, to know about this. come on. Now, everyone knows to meet at my house tonight, right? Right. Right. I'm sure the alien will want to contact us at the same time, so don't anybody be late. Just remember, he contacted me first. I want to be the first one to talk to him. Ah, oh, shut up, will ya? No. You shut up. You shut up. No, you. Why should I? Because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be in on this. Both of you shut up. Parents are watching TV tonight. Don't worry, we'll watch it in the morning, all right? All right. All right. All right. It's 8 o'clock, and still no alien. I don't know. Maybe the network changes time slot. You don't seem to understand, Dennis. The alien controls TV, not vice versa. Well, he sure is taking his sweet time about it. What is this garbage? But we three must one He's here! Unbelievable! I knew he'd show up. Greetings from Zekna. I am contacting Louise Baker. Louise, television for you. Mom, I've got it in the den! I am contacting Dennis Cochinson. Wow, man, that's me! Far out! I am contacting Charles Benson. I am contacting Michael Brody. That's Cody. Excuse me, Michael Cody. Dumb alien. We have been scanning your planet that has selected you four to be our representatives. We've been picked. We wish to make contact with the governing body of your young people. And we require a public gathering to broadcast our message. Stupefying. Our researches tell us that the governing board of you young people is known as the Student Council. You must set up a receiver at the meeting of this Student Council. We plan to make contact on what you Earthlings call Tuesday. Our message is very important and your help is invaluable. I, non of Zekna, thank you. Farewell for now. Man, I'm blown away. I can't believe it. I'm really blown away. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. How in the world did he know the student council meets on Tuesday? Oh, come on, Dennis. The guy is a higher life form. He probably knows what room they meet in. Now, all we have to do is get a video monitor. And what did you say these video monitors would be used for? Well, we can't say. Not just yet. Seriously, Mrs. Mead, we have something very important to show them. Chuck, please leave the teeth alone. Now, don't snow me, Goaty. I know you're behind this. We really can't say, Mrs. Mead. And why not? Mrs. Mead, can I be perfectly honest with you? You can try. The most amazing thing ever in the history of the whole world is happening right now. Don't tell me. You're passing English. Ma'am, the four of us have been contacted by an... Ah! Are you all right? Yeah. Please, Mrs. Mead, we promise nothing will happen. 
All right. But on one condition. That equipment is quite delicate. Now I want someone to operate it. Someone who knows what they're doing. Someone like, like Brian Bauer or Bertram Cummings. That Cummings boy is quite technically minded. Bertram? Bertram will be fine, Mrs. Mead. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Mead says we can only do it if we get you to help us. Have you ever used those monitors? Video monitors? Sure. I know how to use those video monitors. So, what's going on? I wish I could explain the whole thing, but it's kind of a secret. Okay? All right. Okay. Tuesday after school. I'll be there. Great. Bye. Bye. Of course I'll help them. It's perfect. It's perfectly warm. Bertram, this has gone a little too far. There's going to be a lot of people at that student council meeting. Good. It's that many more people to see what a bunch of jerks they all are. You're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble. It's worth it. No, it's crazy. Listen, Dalton, I'm tired of being stepped on. It's time someone else got theirs. In all the years I've known you, I've never seen you act like this. And if you think this is a way to win your friends, you're, you're dead wrong. It may not get me friends, but it's going to get me noticed. Bertram, thanks again for helping us with the monitors. Sure. I can't wait to see what the surprise will be. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. What's up with the video monitors? Some freshman playing a stunt. I hope this isn't take all day. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the student council, good afternoon. We will begin today's session with a special presentation by four of our illustrious ninth graders. And here to explain it is Michael Gody. Okay, don't blow it. All right. Remember, this is going to make us all famous. All right. You know your lines, right? Right. Just let me go. All right, all right, everybody. Now, what we have to show you here is something very, very important. What we have here is the most important, the most amazing thing that's ever happened. Chuck, Dennis, hit the set. Now, remember, everybody, I was the first one to be contacted. Kind of joke. Now, really, listen, you gotta keep watching. Hey, what's going on? How would I know you, jerk? Don't call me a jerk. Where is that alien? sort of dangerous if you think about it. How anyone with a camera, some broadcast equipment, and... How anyone with these things, I don't believe, could easily fool a group of people into believing just about anything. Fortunately, my message was not a dangerous one, but it could have been. And who knows what people might do, especially when those people are out to get their names in the paper.
Now, there's Bertram now. Actually, the brainchild of classmate. See page four. Bertram Cummings. So is revenge as sweet as they say? It certainly is. Bertram, could you autograph this for me? I don't think they captured my best side in this photo. Oh, I think it's adorable. She's a real sweetie, isn't she? Hey, Bertram. Hey, Bob. <laughs> it says here, uh, you got your recreation privileges suspended for a month. A small price to pay for success. But I thought you uh, got a month's detention. Louis is in those jerks, did. I don't suppose you've uh, spoken to her lately. Hey, Louise. Hey, Louise. Well, you've got her now. Bertram, I just don't understand why you did this to me. I always liked you, and that was so mean. Awesome flowers. Great picture in the paper. Uh, thanks, Andrea. Uh, I just happened to pick these up on the way to school. No big deal. I wish you'd stop bothering me. Can I help it if I was angry? Don't raise your voice at me. I'm not raising... I'm not raising my voice. But you laughed at me, Louise. But you acted so ridiculous. Maybe I did. I gotta go. Uh, look, I I know you're upset, but I I'd, I'd still like to be friends. So could we maybe I don't know, maybe I could buy you a coke after school. No. Why not? I've got detention. First, you don't have any friends and you're unhappy. 
Now you've got a whole lot of friends and you're still not happy. Bertram, you've got to figure out what you want. I thought it's what I wanted, to have everyone know my name. Then I, you know, feel okay about myself if people paid attention to me. How do you do it, Dalton? I don't know. I mean, I'm not a great jock. And I'm no brain. And I'm not Mr. Popularity. But I am who I am. And you know something? All in all, I don't think I'm that bad off. I've really made a mess of things. Look, having friends and being noticed is terrific. But it doesn't make being yourself any easier. Being me is never going to be easy. You're you with me. I've never thought it was that bad. So why don't you try it out on somebody else? You might get a surprise. How bad is it? It's hopeless, I'm afraid. Louise. Louise, are you there? Louise, television for you again. If you're there, I promise this is the last time I'll ever be on your TV set. Hey, wait a minute. Gotta fix this tripod. Louise, if you're there, I want to say that this is the last time I'll ever be on your TV set. I don't really get a kick out of interrupting people's TV shows. All I wanted was a chance to tell you how sorry I am. I, I can't seem to say it when I'm around you. I get all tongue-tied. Sometimes when I'm around you, I couldn't get a noun and a verb together to save my life. Anyway, I hope we can start over again, Louise. No more outfits, no more flowers, no more singing. Just what you see here. I mean here. Anyways, if you're there, I hope you've been listening and I hope we can get to be friends. And now, this is TV station B-E-R-T leaving the air on our third and final broadcasting night. Good night and drive carefully. on your body.